Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video is about branch migration. I have received innumerable questions about how people can migrate to a different branch with to ECE, to ECM, to CSE, and most of the people want to migrate to CSE. So this video is an attempt to clear all those doubts at once, and I will take CSE uh, throughout this video as an example. Other branches also have similar process. So before going forward, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. From the next month onwards, you would also receive company-specific placement uh, videos. So I think this is gonna be useful for you all in the long term as well. So with that, let's begin. The first question is how many students are allowed to migrate, or whether is it easy or hard. So let's take an example of a person who is trying to migrate from civil or mechanical to CSE. So overall, there would be only two percent of the seats of CSE branch. in a particular year that would be available for people who want to migrate for example let's take an example of my uh, my batch itself so in cse there were 350 students and 2% of 350 is 7 so only 7 students combinedly from all the branches civil mechanical ec triple e were allowed to migrate to cse so i hope you can understand from this fact itself how hard it is to migrate all these students would want to migrate to cse for better placement opportunities and then only seven people out of those would be able to actually migrate now second question how can you migrate what is the process so first of all in the first semester you only have to focus on the subjects of your branch you do not have to do anything extra you just have to ensure that you get a very high cgpa because this will play a very important role later on now before the beginning of the second semester vit would announce uh, actually it will send a mail to you about branch migration you have to apply for it you have to apply to your dean and you have to express your interest in branch migration after that you would be given two subjects you have to take those two subjects and study them in the second semester and those two subjects will be related to the branch you want to migrate to so let's say you are from mechanical you have to study two subjects extra of cse because you want to migrate to cse now what happens at the end of first year so after the end of first year a weightage will be given to your marks in both those two subjects and your cgpa overall in the first year so the weightage was something like 40% to the two subjects that you studied the two extra subjects and 60% to your overall cgpa in the first year and combinedly i score will be created so whoever applied for branch migration this score will be created for all of them and only the top 7 students will be able to migrate now what happens to those who are not able to migrate what about the subjects they studied extra so nothing uh, really happens bad to them those two subjects that you study extra are definitely not related to your degree but you can get them counted as university electives so those will be actually counted for your degree now my verdict whether you should go for branch migration or not so i think it is a risk worth taking if you really are interested in making your career in the it field because cse definitely has more opportunities cse or it has more opportunities than any other branch in vit so with that i think you have enough information required about the branch migration process if you have any other questions do join the telegram group i have added my friends also there you can ask your questions in the voice chat or in the group itself so we have regular voice chats where we talk directly to the students and i add my friends also there who are working in different companies are from different branches and we try to solve your doubts there thank you